Is it hard to access affordable, healthy food? Then listen carefully. Daryl Addison, an African-American inventor, has patented a process for growing food on demand. He called it Torpedo Pot. Torpedo Pot is a fully automated flower pot that gives you control over your plant's environment. All you do is add soil, seeds, and plants to the flower pot and watch it grow. Yes, Torpedo Pot grows the rest. Visit www.torpedopot.com. Hello everyone, it's me Demetra K of the Demetra K Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So Kamala Harris, Vice President Kamala Harris, I should say, is going to be heading to Sunset, Louisiana to talk to the people there about high speed internet that the government is going to implement as part of the infrastructural plan to get broadband internet up and running in disadvantaged communities. All right. So she was supposed to go um, a couple of days ago, but she ended up having to postpone the trip to today. And so she said this on Facebook. So much of our world has moved online and high speed broadband internet is a necessity. This morning, I'm headed to Sunset, Louisiana to meet with people who are going to benefit from our administration's investment, which will deliver broadband to all communities, with the emphasis on all communities, all right? So I did a little research on Sunset, Louisiana, and per the 2020 census, it is predominantly black. Not a whole lot of people live there, about uh, 3,000 or so people in total live there, but it is predominantly black. And so when she says she's, you know, going there so it'll benefit all communities and all of that, well, you know, she's saying to all communities because she doesn't want other race of people to be like, oh, well, they're going to Louisiana to help get the Negroes some internet. So they have to do that all inclusive thing, right? But she's not going to speak to all communities. She's going to go speak to predominantly black people there in Sunset, Louisiana. Now I say all that to say is that we got to be careful because as you notice, they been the Biden administration and the Democrats, they are putting forth all these talking points like, look, see what we're doing here. We gave HBCU some money. It was $150,000 to get security and, you know, mental health services, not a lot of money. And now they're going to say, oh, we're helping, you know, all communities get internet services, but they're really speaking to that a black community. So be careful. Don't allow them to make you think that they're giving you tangibles when it really is just symbolism. They know what we want. We want our check. We want, we want our reparations and we want a whole host of other things that are directly going to benefit black people. We don't want these little small, teeny, tiny little things that they're going to blow up like they're making it seem like they're doing so much for us. So that way, when the midterm elections come up in November and then ultimately the presidential election in 2024, you know, they're going to try to use these things. We'll see what we did for y'all. We got y'all some internet. We gave a little bit of money to the HBCUs and we did pass the Emmett Till, you know, anti-lynching bill and then, you know, the Crown Act so you can go to work with your Afro. We did those things like, okay, those things are cute. Thank you very much. However, you still not addressing the things that we are asking you for. We are asking you for our money. Do that first and then we can, you know, applaud and clap for all the other things that you're trying to do for us. All right. So anyway, y'all, for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace.